When the craziest philosopher in history was caught masturbating in public, he said he wished it were as easy to get rid of hunger by touching his belly. When a man called him a dog, he urinated on the man's leg. When the man got angry, he said, If I'm a dog, why are you surprised? When he was sentenced to exile by the people of Sinope, he said, And I condemn you to remain in this city. When he was sold as a slave and the auctioneer asked what kind of work he was good for, he replied, To be a master. When Plato defined humans as the only featherless bipeds, he entered his lecture with a plucked chicken and said, Behold, a man. When he saw the son of an unwed mother throwing stones at the crowd, he approached him and said, Be careful, boy. You might hit your father. Diogenes stood in front of a brothel shouting, A beautiful prostitute is like poisoned honey. A beautiful prostitute is like poisoned honey. The men entering the house threw him one or two coins to make him be quiet. Eventually, Diogenes had collected enough money, and he also entered the brothel. Diogenes was asked why he always begged. To teach people, Diogenes replied. Oh yes, and what do you teach them? They asked with disdain. Generosity, he would answer. Plato considered Diogenes' behavior as a street dog unfit for someone who called himself a philosopher. You truly live up to your name, Plato disapprovingly told him one day. By the gods, you are right for once, Plato, Diogenes responded and baring his teeth added, but at least I have sunk my teeth into philosophy. In winter, Diogenes would walk barefoot on the snow. In summer, he would roll in the hot sand. He did this to toughen himself against discomfort. But aren't you exaggerating a bit? A disciple asked. Of course, Diogenes replied. I am like a choir conductor who has to sing louder than the others to get the right note. Diogenes was collecting figs and had just filled his bag when a stranger approached him on the road. Don't touch this fruit. A man hanged himself from the tree the other day, warned the man, obviously believing the tree was cursed. In response, Diogenes sank his teeth into the fig he had in his hand. Sucking on it as if drawing poison from a wound, he proclaimed, Thus, I purify the tree. Astonished, the man stood there in awe as Diogenes walked away. Diogenes was asked, What is the difference between life and death? There is no difference. Then why do you remain in this life? Because there is no difference. Often when begging, people passing by would spit on Diogenes. Diogenes would ignore this and simply wipe his face with his sleeve. When mocked for his passive behavior, Diogenes said, If men endure getting wet by the sea to catch a mere sardine, Shouldn't I endure being splashed to get my dinner? A provocateur in the crowd yelled, My mind is not made that way. I don't care about philosophy. Why bother to live then? Diogenes responded, If living rightly doesn't bother you. Foreigners in Athens asked Diogenes to point out the great philosopher, referring to Plato. Diogenes looked around and then led them to the most deserted part of the city and gesturing to the empty air as one does in a formal introduction said, I present to you the great philosopher Plato. Very few of Diogenes' disciples had the physical and mental endurance to become cynics. One in particular left the circle but not before begging Diogenes to give him one of his books. Truly you are foolish, Diogenes said. Surely you would not have painted figs instead of real figs. And yet... You overlook the true practice of wisdom and content yourself with what is merely written. Once, Diogenes was asked why he accepted money from people. To show them how they should spend their money, he replied. On one occasion, Diogenes was about to enter the theater just as everyone was leaving. When asked why he was doing so, he responded, Opposition has been my way of being. It is what I have been doing all my life. Diogenes was asked, Tell me. What do you attribute your great poverty to? To much work, he responded. And what advice can you offer to the rich? Avoid all the good things in life. Why? Because money costs too much. A rich man is much poorer than a poor man. How can that be? Because poverty is the only thing that money cannot buy. A famous athlete made his triumphant entrance to the city after another successful game. 
As he was carried, he couldn't take his eyes off the many beautiful women among the spectators. Look at our brave Victor, commented Diogenes, captured by every girl he sees. On a bright and clear day, Diogenes walked up and down the marketplace, holding a lit lantern high and looking around as if searching for something. When people looked at him in amazement and asked what he was doing, he replied, I am searching for an honest man. He looked at them one by one with a penetrating gaze and, with a sad shrug of his shoulders, turned to leave. I called for men, he said disgustedly. In the midst of a serious conversation at the cranium, Diogenes realized that no one was listening to him, so instead, he started whistling and dancing to get attention. Immediately, people crowded around him. Diogenes stopped and said, Fools, you're not interested in stopping and paying attention to wisdom, but you rush to watch a foolish spectacle. Diogenes was knee-deep in a stream washing vegetables. As Plato approached him, he said, My good Diogenes, if you knew how to court kings, you wouldn't have to wash vegetables. And, Diogenes responded, if you knew how to wash vegetables, you wouldn't have to court kings. While passing by a stream, Diogenes saw a child drinking water with his hands. A child has surpassed me in simplicity, he said, throwing away his cup. A young man contemplating marriage sought advice from Diogenes. Should I get married? Marriage is too soon for a young man. Then should I wait until I'm old? Oh no, marriage is too late for an old man. Then what should I do? I love the girl. Love is a luxury that no one can afford. It's for those who have nothing better to do. So what should we be doing? Seeking freedom. But it's not possible to be free if you have a wife and children. But having a wife and family is so nice. That's the problem, young man. Freedom wouldn't be so hard to attain if the prison weren't so sweet. Are you saying that being free is to be alone? We enter the world alone and we die alone. So why in life should we be any less alone? So living is terrible. Not living but living in chains. Someone once asked, Tell me, Diogenes, how does a wise man look? Immediately, Diogenes straightened up and stroked his beard. When asked about his worst nightmare, Diogenes said, Waking up and finding myself living in a palace while everyone else lives in barrels. Diogenes walked backward through the Agora, displaying a studied indifference to all who laughed at him. Finally, when he had gathered a large crowd, he stopped and announced, You are laughing at me for walking just a little backward while all of you live your entire lives upside down. And furthermore, he asked, Can you change your way of living as easily as this? With that, he turned around and walked away in a normal manner. Looking back in history, we find in Diogenes a dissenting voice that challenges us to be authentic, to question society, and to seek inner freedom. His legacy continues to inspire thinkers, rebels, and dreamers of all ages. So let us remember Diogenes the Cynic, the man who lived in a barrel and defied the world with his philosophy. May his spirit of rebellion and his search for truth inspire us to question, to think, and to live authentically in our own times. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and philosophy of Diogenes the Cynic. May his defiant spirit and quest for truth continue to guide us in our own search for meaning and authenticity. Until next time.